All right, you guys, hey, what's up? So here's another video. We're back with the CT70 clone once again. What we're gonna be doing today, as you see by this little box I got, we're gonna be fixing the swing arm issue on this. So there's a guy who sells bushings for these. Um, this is his name right here, Patrick Walsh, Genesis Tool Company, Rochester, New York. So we're gonna be swapping out these bushings in there for those rubber bushings that they come with. They're obviously trash and horrible. We're gonna be putting these in. So these are specifically made for the CT70s. So this is what they are. Specifically made for these bikes. So it's gonna take away all that filling, make it really ride like a real bike. And uh, yeah, so these are what we're gonna do. So we gotta take off the swing arm, take everything off that bolts up to it, take out the wheel, stuff like that. And uh, I'll show you guys how to do that right now. And then we'll see how we press these old bushings out. So let me put these back away. I will put a link to the eBay listing for this. I believe I paid $16 for these. So I will be putting the link uh, for anybody who's interested. Um, this is a must have mod, must do on any CT70 or CT125, the same thing CT90. Best thing you can do so it can actually be safe and you don't feel that rear end take moving on you. Um, so yeah, let's start getting this taken apart and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so um, right now we just fast forward it. Um, we fast forward it a little bit, took off some of the things, took off the rear wheel, got the shocks off, the rear, the bottom of it, the brake, brake assembly. Um, you can see how cheap these shocks are, they suck. Everything on this sucks. Um, so what we're trying to get to is this bolt right here. I already loosened it. So now I just need to take it off. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, so maybe I should have done that first. So we're gonna take off this brake. Like we are gonna have to take the springs off. Not too big of a deal. Let's see. Okay. Got that spring. Got that spring. Now we can slide off the whole brake assembly. Right there. Put their parts with each other kind of messed this up but i'll fix that okay and i can pull the whole swing arm bolt okay here we go so here's the swing arm okay okay so here it is yeah, they're pretty poorly made. Look like crap. So sh crappy little bushings. Oh yeah, just by, even with this, you can... Yeah, it's pretty dangerous. Okay. So. Do is try to pop these out. Give me a second, let me get all the stuff together. All right, you guys, so I didn't really record this because it was a pain in the ass. I had to beat 
one of the bushings out so what I did was I actually didn't beat it out first um, here's the little outside piece so what I did is I got a drill a drill bit and when it sits right there I took out all the rubber pulled this sleeve out and then after I took the sleeve out I used flatheads and this was like this and I just kept smashing it in to break this apart the outer ring and then once I took the outer ring out I was able to pull it out this is the center that sits in there and now it's just the other side to come out I don't have a press or anything so it's the reason why I had to do it like this and then all I used after that was a number uh, 5 8 with an extension and then from there I could just finish beating this one out there we go okay so these are the bushings that don't work um, yeah so you want to replace these so our new ones are let's see got a little bit of a mess going on here now okay so here's our new ones so they're the exact same size same everything they're just made out of this um, whatever the material it's called so these have to get hit back in as well so now we just got to hit these in put that center in and then we're good to go and then now we will fix that wobble problem so let's get these in real quick let's see See if we could tap these in. Okay, so those go in fairly easy. They're extremely tight too, so that's good. Don't forget your middle little collar that kind of holds it in. And then put our other new one. And we'll hit it on this side. All right, now let's do this side. Okay, so just like the guy said, they're pretty indestructible. <laughs> so there we go now we got the solid bushings in so we won't have that slop in the rear now I'm gonna put this back together make sure to use Loctite as well you guys do not forget Loctite and I'll get right back to you guys okay so now we're gonna be putting them back together I already put the swing arm in bolts through there now I'm just going to put a little bit of Loctite. Okay. And this is a 14 millimeter and a 12. So it's 14 on this side, 12 on the other. Uh, I'm not going to tighten it up yet. I'm going to put everything on the rest of the stuff on put the wheel the brake and then yeah so let's get the brake assembly move the wheel get the brake assembly back so it goes like this let's get these springs on okay so that one goes like that this one goes here Okay. It's 
little harder to do with the spring. There you go. So, put that, put this little washer that it had. Put your cotter pin so stuff don't fall apart. Actually, no. This one. Okay. Then we got our brake switch. Okay, let's get this on there. like that okay add that add our wheel turn this let's put our wheel in set our drum back in there pieces put this on before this becomes a pain then on this side we got the spring A lot of slivers on this bike so we got the spring and we put that on and we put this oops okay we'll tighten it all down once we got everything together now let's get our hardware for the rear, which would be this. Okay, so it goes like this. This will sit in here. Let the swing arm up. in there okay get that on there and then this for now because I want to adjust the chain so everything's loose and do some adjustments and stuff like that so yeah so there you guys go don't want to make the video too long for that so that's how you fix your swing arm bolts I mean the swing arm bushing just eliminate them completely buy the kit um, they're from eBay there's also another uh, youtuber that's put these bushings in his um, I'll tag him in the in the thing so you guys can see his video as well 
But yeah, so this is how you do it. Solid bushings. Get rid of these. You don't want this junk in there. I mean, you saw this bike couldn't even last 50 miles um, without having like a dangerous rear wheel wobble. So I'm just gonna finish tightening everything up and that'll be it for this video. Thank you.